This is the crash course of the Emacs Tapas series of videos about Emacs Lisp. In this one I'm going to show you some very very basic stuff very very quickly without trying to explain it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a scratch directory to run Emacs in. Uh, we're then going to start Emacs with that home directory and starting Emacs like that just lift it up a bit so that we can see where we are. Now you'll notice that since I've done that if I open the home directory the which is the tilde slash that's actually in Emacs test so we now have a completely scratch Emacs that we can muck about with. Not that we're going to do anything particularly I'm going to show you how to set a variable nick variable one this is a string and we're going to use Control X, Control E to evaluate that, which means set that value to that variable. We can now evaluate just the variable name, and we can see down in the echo area that it comes out this is a string. Hopefully you should know about the echo area, having used Emacs a little. Uh, so that's how to set global variables. We can set local variables with the let form. and we can have them evaluated. If I now try and evaluate nigvar2 outside, that's a void variable, Emacs says. We can still evaluate nigvar1, because that was global. So let's make a quick procedure, or a function. This one has no arguments, and it's going to return value of nigvar1. We can add to, I had to control x, control e to evaluate that. You can see that in the message area it says nick proc1 to show that that was the value of evaluating a procedure. It's the name of the procedure. Um, if we now call nick proc1 with control x, control e we can see the value of nick var1 in the echo area. So if we set q nick var1 to 10 and reevaluate this with control x control e, we'll get 10. Let's change the definition of nick proc1 a little. We could just go and edit the other one but let's do it this way. Control X, Control E again. And now if I evaluate Nick Prog 1, the value will be 200. We can't see Nick Var 3 though, of course. That doesn't need to be in parentheses can't see nick 3 the variable doesn't exist, it only existed inside this lab form. So that's pretty much all I'm going to show you in the crash course, it's the very very basics of how to set variables, get started, set variables, set functions, and how to get out, control x, control c, 